Hello, everybody. This is Art Wassum. Um, I'm going to leave a commentary on the ScreenCraft Writer Summit that happened this weekend. Uh, that was Saturday and Sunday, and today is actually Monday. And I wanted to give my uh, takeaways because uh, maybe some of you might want to go next year. Maybe some of you uh, might be looking for a writer. Maybe some of you, um, uh, who knows? Anyway, so I just wanted to uh, give you my takeaways. If you want to leave me a comment, you can go to my website. All my social media, all my links, every way to reach me is at www.artwassum.com. And I want to thank you for listening to this. And so this, I have three major things that I wanted to comment on. The first one, there was um, the Screener Summit uh, happened on Saturday and Sunday. It was pre-recorded and they edited it uh, for brevity and to fit into the time slots. And it was um, I recorded, I guess, all over the United States. Some some of the best writers and managers and just people, and of course, people from Stagecraft. And thank you so much for putting it on. The first thing I want to say is that on the uh, right hand side of the screen, there was a chat box. Now, when the seminars were going, I full screened it so I didn't wasn't distracted by what was going on in the chat. A lot of the chat, quite frankly, was here's my social gram here or here's my Instagram. Here's my Twitter. Here's my social media. Um, and I guess they're using it as a networking opportunity and to join them. But it was I wanted to see the speakers. But I do got to tell you one thing, the chat box and the people in the chat box had the best grammar and the best punctuation I have ever seen in a chat box in my life. I mean, you guys as writers, you're definitely writers. I can tell you that because it, it was fantastic. There was one who was a little, um, uh, well, there were two that one was really angry and one was really, um, I don't know how to put it there. It just didn't make a whole lot of sense. But needless to say, everybody else, impeccable grammar, impeccable punctuation. Thumbs up, two thumbs up. Uh, the next thing I want to say was the speakers themselves. If there's one thing that I took away from that, it's in the South. I'm coming from uh, from Nashville. To let you guys know, I live in the city of music, but I work in the city of angels. But the um, uh, everybody who was there was, we have a term for it in the South, and that is, agreeable. It doesn't mean that you agree with everything. It means that you're easy to be with, that you're somebody you want to hang with, that, you know, I could see every, I could see myself hanging with every one of these speakers and I could see myself definitely being in a room with them or co-writing with them or doing a co-write with them or having them do a polish or, I, I mean, I'm not at the place to do a polish for them yet, or maybe I am, but I just haven't been found yet. Bottom line is, they were nice to be with. And so they seem nice to be with. And so I just want to tell you guys, if you're an emerging screenwriter like myself, I've been in the industry for a long time. And the people who seem to have a long career are very agreeable. They just, they don't cause waves. They don't cause problems. They're very polite. They're very, you know, they do their job. They're professional professional as hell. I don't think any of these guys even shy away at all from a 14, 16 hour day. Nobody's going to complain about how much you have to quote work because it's not work to them. It's what they love to do. Uh, the next thing I wanted to bring up was when they were telling their stories, it became very important um, that they weren't that particular about uh, Things that when you when you apply for coverage, and I've done a few contests, when you get coverage back, it's a lot of times your grammar and your spelling and your formatting. And that didn't seem to matter to any of the speakers. What mattered to them was the story. Is it not a story that they want to necessarily sell, but is it a story that you want to watch? Is it a story that they wanted to watch? And that's what they wrote. They would read a book or they'd get hired for a project and they'd read the project. And it's like, if I don't want to watch this, they would just say no. Now, economically, they're probably in a place to do that. And a lot of time as emerging writers, you take what you can get. But it seemed to me that they basically were very, con now I, I said the chat people that are on the right hand side, very conscious of grammar and punctuation. The writers themselves were very conscious 
of story? Was it going to move you? Is it moving? It, that, is it going to make you feel something? Steve Jobs used to talk about denning the universe. We make movies, okay? I don't know if we're denning the universe, but you can change somebody's life. And we all have those lines. We all have those pictures on those TV shows that deeply, deeply, deeply moved us and affected us. And that's what they write. They write those types of shows. Um, and so I would say writers, if you're looking at this and you're wondering, how do I break in? You know, keep writing and keep writing stories that you want to tell and develop your own voice. And because if you're sending them to contests and you're sending them for coverage, fix the grammar. You know, I, I ended up getting Grammarly. I ended up doing punctuation. I mean, I, and I do use formatter and final draft. I do ever all the tricks because I know that. If, if I spell then and then wrong, that's going to get keep me off some list that might be seen by somebody in some place, somewhere, sometime, whatever. The bottom line, though, is that doesn't matter to me. The matter What matters to me is myself and what I got from this. Tell a story that you want to see, you know. Um, and the next thing was... At the end, every day they had a little networking thing, and it lasted for an hour. Most people bailed. Uh, we had 970 people, 70-some people the first day. And when it went time into the networking thing, I think it dropped down to 400-something. Second day, once again, it was 400-something that were interested in meeting people. And the people are um, going to be divided in what I consider three, three groups. Group number one is Michael Ross. I was at a SAG event a couple of years ago. Michael Ross said that you have a mob of crows and you have a herd of cattle. Um, a group of actors is called a complaint. And it seemed to me that a lot, that about a third of the screenwriters who were networking were looking for people to commiserate with. And so, you know, you got a three minute time before you moved on to the next one. And you knew within about 30 seconds that you weren't going to accept an extension. Um, the second group of people were people like me, emerging screenwriters. How do I do this? What do I do? How do I break in? What's the next step? What do I, you know, do I keep working? Do I just keep what do I do? What contest? What's good? What's bad? You know, trying to get glean any type of information to have a career, not to fulfill a career or to continue a career, but just to freaking have a career doing what you love to do. Because there's lots of jobs out there nobody wants to do. But being a writer, if you got to tell stories, my brother one time, said i asked him to read a screenplay he goes art do you remember do you know my very first um memory in life being alive is you sitting me down and playing some stupid song that you had written he goes have you ever had a day in your life that you didn't journal that you didn't write something and i'm like no he goes you're the only one surprised you're a writer if that's you out there this is a summit that you need to be on. Uh, I saw a lot of my friends on the after uh, things from different. I'm going to name drop now. You might be a part. You might not. You might have your own opinions. Leave me a message. Leave me a comment on what you think about this. But ISA Connect, there's a few people involved with that. There's a few people in uh, Stage 32. There was a couple people from uh, We Make Movies. These are all organizations I'm involved with. Um, and then everybody, of course, with their hashtags and their tweets and their Instagrams. And to tell you the truth, I don't post like that. I have all that information. You'll find it at artwasson.com. But I basically don't do anything more than post because I find it too noisy. And a lot of times there's too many trolls who are very aggravating about the world. And so I tend to want to write something to make them happy and not have to listen to their well, let's face it that I don't want to give them um, three minutes, much less 30 seconds. And the third group of people I found in the chat, I'm sorry, the after the session, the after networking session, um, were people, once again, like the speakers. I would have hung with them. There were some filmmakers. I met people from Australia and people from Rome, people in Los Angeles. Uh, there was a girl in Connecticut, woman in Connecticut, excuse me, woman. There was a woman in Connecticut um, that was, I mean, just delightful to talk to. And I would have spent an hour 
not talking to these people. Um, so anyway, that's my information. I didn't want to go over 10 minutes, and I just hit the 10-minute mark. If you like what you see, um, I don't know. I don't really – this isn't a – like and thumbs up and share type of deal. This is just my opinion of the 2022 Screenwriters, uh, or some, I'm sorry, Screencraft Writing Summit. And uh, personally, guys, I'm there next year, you know, and someday maybe I'll be there as a speaker. That would be really wonderful. Anyway, send me a comment, send me an email at uh, Art Wassum, or aw, let's see, artw.mail.com. You'll find that on the website. You can connect with me. Everything's online right now. So anyway, thank you for tuning in, and we will talk to you later. Now.